quiet, relaxing day at the seaside in Tel Aviv. This is the place to be seen and for family fun. It's the home of beach culture. But that's not all. You see, in Israel, the unofficial national sport is matkot. This isn't your ordinary game of beach bat and ball. It's much faster, harder hitting and noisy. In Israel, we like to have a rhythm of life, mostly in Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is like party city. Matka is like a party at the beach. The purpose is to keep the ball in the air, to eat hard, and uh, that's all the game. You don't keep scores, so you can't lose. We don't like to lose. You hate hummus, you come here, you buy some beer, you buy some water, sit on the beach, drink a little bit, play, ocean, come back, play again. But some players have taken the game to a whole new level, with regular tournaments and paddles costing hundreds of dollars. These are the grandfathers of modern matkot. It's a way of life. I live by the sea. I name my son Wave and my daughter Sea. I met my wife on the beach, and for me matkot is a way of life. But for Amnon, it's his whole life. I've been addicted to this game for 62 years. I'll be 69 soon. Matkot is my life. All the country knows about us and the whole world. And that's because Amnon has turned his home into the world's only Matkot Museum. Games about as old as Israel itself. So, Amnon, these are some of your oldest bats. Yes. They are that yard. Yes. This one is handmade. It's made privately. Because they only made a few, it's very rare. This one is one of the first on the market. It's from the early 1950s. And how many bats do you have all around the apartment? I have 300. In the cupboards, on the table, around the windows, all together, I have 300. The museum tells the history of Matkot and the history of Tel Aviv. It's Amnon's shrine to the game. I sleep, I dream of Matkot. I want to go to the beach, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, I play Matkot every day. So, I'm back at the beach and I think it's really time that I join in with this matcot madness. I've got my matka, my paddle here, and most importantly, I've chosen a partner, Alon over here. Alon, bring it on. Oh. Looks like I need a bit more practice. 